Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're standing next to our gorgeous two-year-old strawberry patch. We've got an invader uh, hitting these strawberries, and we want to show you a couple of different methods to keep those specific invaders out. Stick with us and find out what we do. As you can see, this gorgeous strawberry is almost completely eaten. When these strawberries are laying on the ground, it invites a lot of insects to come eat these gorgeous ripe strawberries. This particular damage is very indicative of snails or slugs. So we've got a way to deter them and control them. We've also got a lot of ants in here. And one of those methods to uh, deter the snails and slugs will also help deter these ants. We have two methods here today to help deter these insects from eating our strawberries. Now these strawberries obviously like to lay and grow on the ground, so we need to keep those insects away from those strawberries. Here's the first method, good old diatomaceous earth. What you want to do is you want to sprinkle a nice wide barrier around those strawberries. What that will do for the slugs and the snails is deter them from crossing over that path. They don't like it. It does not kill slugs or snails. It can't get through that slime layer, um, but they, it, it's uncomfortable for them. So they will not cross that path. Now here's the key. It's got to remain dry. So you're going to need to reapply it. Uh, if you're, you know, you're watering your plants, it's going to push that diatomaceous earth down into the ground. It's going to dilute it and you're going to need to reapply or obviously if you get a rain. What it will do for your ant problem is cut their exoskeleton. Now those types of uh, insects have an exoskeleton with a coating on it. Once that coating is gone, that ant or other insect with an exoskeleton will dehydrate. Additionally, that diatomaceous earth will cut that exoskeleton that shell, that hard shell on the outside, and it will allow microbes to get into the ant, and that will eventually kill the ant. Now, it's not a quick method, so if you're looking for instant kill on these insects, that's not going to happen. Uh, so what you can also do, you can do both methods, or you can do one or the other, is get those strawberries up off the ground. Now, strawberries grow in little clusters like this, and what we've done here on a piece of a little tiny piece of bamboo, thin piece of bamboo, probably a quarter inch or a three eighths of an inch thick, is wrap some number 10 or 10 gauge fencing wire around it with a little hook on the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to drive that into the ground here and we are going to put those strawberries and hook them up over uh, this little piece of wire, keeping them up off the ground. Additionally, what you can do is use this gardener's wire, I guess you could say, guard. it's not twine, it's like little twisty ties. And I use this actually uh, to tie up my um, grapes, uh, other things to trellises, you know, raspberries, whatever it may be. We can take, again, a small piece of that bamboo. You can find this at any uh, big box store. We're going to drive that into the ground and we are just going to tie up. We're going to grab a cluster of berries and we're going to tie them up on that. Now, this will keep the creatures <laughs> away from these berries. You're going to have to do this quite often because these strawberries ripen very, very quickly. And you're going to be picking them quite often. Now, you want to drive that in at an angle. I didn't do a very good job on that one. I've got one over here keeping these off the ground, and I did this the other night. But get that in at an angle, so keep them and prop them up off the ground, and that will prevent these slugs from getting to them. You really just want to get them off the ground long enough to ripe in, the, or ripe in. and these strawberries ripen in just a matter of days. So that's basically it. Keep them off the ground and keep them away from them, and you will have, <laughs> you save more of your ripe strawberries. You can also put out, uh, for slugs, uh, beer traps work very well. Um, I've done that before, and you just bury a, uh, a container 
in the ground, a shallow, shallow container, probably about this shallow, filled up with a little beer, they'll crawl in there, they'll drown, they'll die. They like the, uh, the beer. Anyway, thanks for watching, we appreciate it. And we hope you have a great year with your strawberries. As we said, this is just the second year with these and they are producing like mad. We followed the instructions last year uh, in planting them to pick off all of the flowers so that it puts growth towards the plants themselves. Now this is the same uh, advice for fruit trees in their first year or berry uh, plants like your um, raspberries, your blueberries, so on and so forth. Also strawberries. First year, pick off those flowers and the next year you will have 10 times more strawberries than you would the first year if you didn't pick off those flowers. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We appreciate it. We're glad you're here, and we want you to be here in the future. So join us. Join the channel. We're excited you're here. Thank you. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.